What if I could prove these basalt cones produce an energy which affects everything around them? I've been posting about paramagnetic cones for a few weeks now, and a comment came up yesterday which got me thinking about how electroculture must indeed seem quite dubious to the average person. So I've created a simple test which proves without any doubt these cones produce measurable energy. All you need is a glass, clean water, and a freezer, along with a bunch of items which don't mind being frozen. As a control group, I first placed nothing except a glass of water in the freezer, left it overnight, and observed in the morning. It looked as expected, without anything of interest. Next, I froze some plastic toys from the children, but this had the same result, nothing unexpected. Then I froze it with these shells, and in the morning I could see a small bubble like an explosion of some kind forming in the center of the ice. Next, I froze these pine cones with the water and the energy bubble was bigger still, pushing its way out from the center, really quite beautiful. Finally, I froze the water with three of my paramagnetic cones and you can see the size of the energy explosion is so big now it's reached the bottom of the glass. What this proves is that the children's plastic toys have no effect on water while natural materials which demonstrate sacred geometry in their design act as an antenna and have a small effect on water. But my cones with their paramagnetic basalt and their 52 degree apex which mimics the side angle of the Great Pyramid have a massive effect. This is important because we are mostly composed of water. So if you can't afford one of our cones, I encourage you to surround yourself with natural items which reflect sacred geometry in their design. Be in no doubt, they are affecting you.